Feeding Matters is bringing a face to a very serious issue that is being routinely dismissed. Pediatric feeding struggles affect every area of a child's development, social, emotional, physical, and mental well-being. These children are daily being victimized and suffering when they're being dismissed as picky eaters and undiagnosed. And when I met Shannon, I, we found out we had the same pediatric office, the same GI office, and the same feeding therapist. And it was finally our feeding therapist that connected us. I, I mean, I had been living with this for almost three years with my daughter, and I knew nobody who was going through this issue. And when we met, you know, Shannon just said, I, I feel like I, I'm compelled to try to do something about this. So as we came together, you know, why didn't we know other families? Why were we being dismissed? We had almost the same story. She was dismissed as well. Why? You know, that didn't make any sense to us. And we realized we can't be the only ones going through this. So that's really the start of, of Feeding Matters, is starting to address an issue that had not been addressed. And when we started thinking about this, those experts that came to meet with us said, you need to think about this at a global level, because yes, this is happening in your own backyard in Arizona, but this is a global issue that is being severely underserved. For my son, eating does not come naturally like a typical child. Um, he doesn't have that ability to eat when he's hungry. Hayden was born with a chromosome disorder called 18Q deletion. Um, with that diagnosis comes a hearing and visual impairment, developmental delays, the challenges that he faces. They are huge. But for me, feeding has always been the hardest struggle. You try everything to get your child to eat and hours it took to feed two ounces for my son to drink two ounces and the decision to put in a feeding tube. It's hard to make those type of decisions without talking to other parents who've been through it or getting advice from doctors. We discovered Feeding Matters through my husband's employer and she knew Shannon Goldwater knew that she had triplets and had feeding issues as well, just like my son. So the first time that I went on their website, I was able to talk to other parents about making a decision if we should put an NG tube in or a G tube because my son was not eating. They offer so much. Not only do they offer advice for parents, the opportunity to talk to other parents when they're struggling, um, they also hold workshops. And for us, as a family, because I've attended two of them, what I've learned in those workshops, I put to use every single day, every single meal, and it has truly made a difference. They are bringing the medical professionals, the parents together, awareness that feeding does matter. And when you're struggling, it's not, oh, he's a finicky eater, there's usually a reason. I'm not pulling my hair out anymore. I'm not waking up with dread. Oh, I have to feed Hayden this morning. Is he gonna eat? Is he not gonna eat? It just, I get goosebumps because I've learned so much. Every parent wants their child to eat. You want to ensure that they're getting the proper nutrition and getting what they need to flourish and survive. I can't say enough good things about Feeding Matters and Shannon and Chris and everyone who works there. They're committed to helping these children. Feeding Matters brings doctors and parents and professionals together so they can share ideas and help the children get to the bottom of why they're struggling to eat that doesn't exist anywhere else. Feeding Matters is helping bridge this gap by bringing together a one-of-a-kind national consortium of experts who are the thought leaders who are helping spearhead this monumental movement to put this issue on the map so that children are identified early, so that best practices are put in place, so that families and children get the individualized treatment plans they deserve at the onset of an issue, so that mealtimes go from dreadful disasters to enjoyable times for bonding and laughter and overall growth and development to nourish healthy futures. These people, they asked for nothing and they helped us heal our child.
I, I owe them the gratitude for the rest of my life and for us as Zoe's life. They are our little guardian angels.